serial killers. They're a unique bunch of individuals out there, both men and women. And when it comes to serial killers, it's very rare that we will ever see two serial killers kill in the same method, kill the same type of victims, and hunt at the same time in the same geographic location. It's very rare. Oh, but don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We have seen cases like this, though. It does happen. It's happened in the former Soviet bloc countries, and it's happened in the state of California, the state of Indiana, and in the state of Florida here in the United States. But when you take the totality of all known serial killers, and you add up the total number of serial killers, which is in excess of over 3,000 serial killers worldwide, we've never seen two serial killers like the ones that I'm going to tell you about today. Today, I want to bring forth these individuals. Rodney Alclay, otherwise known as the Dating Game Killer. Why was he named the Dating Game Killer? Because he was on the TV show, the 1970s TV show here in America called The Dating Game. And Rodney was actually the winner of The Dating Game show. The girl who picked him out to go out on a date with never actually went out on a date with him because Rodney creeped her out. And luckily for her, it happened. And she came to her wits and never went out on that date with him. Because she most likely would have become a victim of Rodney's as well. Another individual that I wanted to bring forward today is a man by the name of Richard Cottingham. You may know him in the media as the Torso Killer or the New York Ripper. And why are these two serial killers the highlight of today's episode? Because, ladies and gentlemen, the two of them not only hunted the same type of victim, they used the same methodology to get them, to lure them away, but they also worked for the same company at the same time. Nowhere in the history of all known serial killers have we ever seen two serial killers reside in the same geographic location, hunt the same type of victims, use the same methodology to lure the victim away to get the victim, and work for the same company no more than 25 feet away from each other. Rodney Alclay worked for Blue Cross Blue Shield as a computer data entry individual. His job was to put in the patient information into the system. And Richard Cottingham worked for the computer IT department. His door to his office that he shared with three other individuals was no more than 25 feet away from Rodney's cubicle. Additionally, ladies and gentlemen, Richard and Rodney knew each other, liked each other, and went to lunch together on more than a dozen different days during the time that they worked there. Rodney worked there from 1966 to 1980 until his actual arrest for the murders that he committed. Richard Cottingham was on the run from law enforcement at the time and was using the alias John Berger. And he was on the run from the New York and the New Jersey Police Department using that alias. How long did, did John work there? We don't know, but we know it was longer than four years. That's what we can know from tax records. But the rest of the records from Blue Cross Blue Shield mysteriously just vanished afterwards. But they went to lunch together. They knew each other. And they liked each other. Did they ever sit down and talk about the victims that they were killing, torturing, mutilating? Did they talk about anything else other than, hey, that's a great sandwich that you have there? What did they talk about? 
Did they ever hunt and kill together? During the time that Rodney worked at Blue Cross Blue Shield from 1966 to 1980, there were a total of 11 women who were you know, murdered in and around the Chicago area that also could be the victims of Richard Cottingham, where not only was the, the individual murdered, tortured, but then chopped up 11 women that are all, to this day, unsolved. When it came to Rodney and Richard, the two of them only admit that they knew each other, they liked each other, and that they went to lunch together more than a dozen times. They would not talk about, either one of them would talk about, if they ever did anything outside of work together. Did you know that these two serial killers worked at the same company, lived in the same geographic location, and hunted the same type of victims, and used the same methodology to lure their victims, to get their victims, at the same time? This is a strange world we live in. Are there more out there like Richard and Rodney? We just haven't caught them yet. We don't know. You be safe out there. Because you never know who's going to be knocking at your door next. Or who's going to be standing next to you as you get into that elevator. <laughs>